The heat can be hard on the heart and the inland northwest, of course, we'll see hot temperatures this week. Yeah, brutal heat wave hitting much of the country is unpleasant for healthy folks, but for some people with cardiovascular trouble, trouble, hazy, hot, humid days can be downright dangerous. Right. Our health reporter Rose Belt has simple precautions that can ease the strain. Like water flowing downhill, heat naturally moves from warmer to cooler areas and the human body naturally releases heat in ways that can be stressful on your heart. The first way is by radiation, meaning as long as the air around you is cooler than your body, the blood vessels near the surface of your skin can relax to help radiate away excess heat. But this transfer stops and this process no longer works when the air temperature approaches body temperature. The heart then has to beat faster and pump harder to reroute the blood so more of it goes to the skin. Sweating also helps cool your body. Every molecule of sweat that evaporates from your skin also whisks away heat. This works well on dry days, but when humidity levels climb, the water vapor already in the air makes evaporation more difficult. Sweat pulls more than heat from the body. It also removes minerals from your bloodstream that are needed to maintain healthy fluid balance that can lead to low blood pressure. Most healthy people tolerate these weather changes without missing a beat. However, older people and people with damaged or weakened hearts may not respond well to the combination of extra work needed to increase blood flow to the skin and dehydration. The drop in blood pressure can push some people into trouble by causing dizziness or falls. Summer heat also speeds up smog and haze, and smoke from wildfires may increase chances of a heart attack. According to a study in the Journal of the American Heart Association, emergency room visits increase for breathing trouble, heart disease, irregular heart rhythms, heart failure, and stroke in Northern and Central California during the summer of 2015 when intense wildfires raged across the state. Some simple choices can help you weather the weather and keep heat from stressing your heart and spoiling your summer. Take it easy during the hottest part of the day and stay cool. If you don't have an air conditioner, consider spending an hour or two inside a movie theater, maybe an indoor mall, or spend some time at an air-conditioned neighbor's or community center. Consider a cool shower or bath or putting a cold, wet cloth or ice pack under your arm or at your groin. Fans work to a point, but sitting in front of warm, blowing air work as good as sitting in front of a blow dryer. Eat light meals that don't overload your stomach. Salads and fruits can satisfy your hunger and give you extra fluid. Most importantly, drink plenty of fluid. A glass of water every hour should keep you hydrated. If wildfires are occurring near you, get inside and keep the doors and the windows shut. The EPA does recommend if you have a heart condition or a lung condition to maybe relocate with family or friends or get some place that's far away from the smoke. And if you're on medication for heart failure, high blood pressure, especially diuretics, Ask your doctor if you should adjust the dosages on days that you know you're going to be out in the heat. Rose Belts, Creme 2 News.